Hi, I'm Murray, and I'm just about to go on stage for my own show. But before I do that, I'm going to show you a great trick you can do on your date tonight. Come with me. We'll do it in the theater. This is a great compatibility test, all right? So when you're with your date, you tell them this is to see if we're actually compatible, all right? But the power is really uh, in your suggestion. It's very simple. I'll show you. So we have three items. We have a breath mint, a cracker, and a dime, all right? So you ask your date. You say, um, here's what I got. I got three different items. What I want you to do is to actually um, point to any two you'd like. Point to any two. These two. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the dime, right? Uh, which leaves, leaves these two. Uh, why don't you just choose one of the items. Pick one of the items up. The breath mint. Okay, so we'll get rid of the cracker. So that leaves the breath mint. Do you have any idea why you chose the breath mint? It's because we have the exact same match. And we're compatible. See? That way, it always works. So here's how you do it, alright? You're basically making the person choose what you want them to choose. So you put one thing in your hand. For this, I'm putting the breath mint. Okay, so we're always going to use the breath mint. You can use the cracker or the dime, whatever you have. But make sure whatever you have, it's two of. Obviously, because you have to have one, and so does uh, your date choosing the item. So I have two breath mints, so I'm keeping this one in my hand, all right? Which means I have to make sure they choose the breath mint. Here's how it works, all right? So they have three items. So I make sure to tell them point to two. Not choose, not pick, but point. Because they don't know what's going on anyways. So when they point to two items, so say she points to the cracker and the candy, which leaves the dime free. Well, you don't want her to choose the dime, so you say, let's get rid of that. Now we've got it down to two. Now what you do is you tell her to uh, pick up one of them, not choose, because choose means ownership, but pick up means you're just picking it up. So pick up one of the items. So she picks up the candy, which is perfect, because that's what you have in your hand. She doesn't know that yet. So you just say, well, let's get rid of the cracker. So now, the trick's done. She has exactly what you have in the hand. You open your hand, it matches. Perfect. Now, we put the candy back, the cracker back, as well as the dime. Now, say we're back at the same point, and I say, point to any two, and she points to the uh, dime, and she points to the cracker, which leaves the candy open. You say, you point to these two. Now you say, let's get rid of the cracker and the dime. So that leaves the candy. So now that's exactly what you want to be chosen. You open your hand and it matches. And once you have that happen, you say, well, that makes you choosing the candy, doesn't it? And they'll always agree. When you ask them that, they'll always agree because you don't know where it's going. So when they choose the opposite two, it automatically leaves this one alone. So you get rid of those two, keep this one, all right? So the other choice that could happen is you have the dime, the cracker, and the candy. And what they do is they point to the dime and they point to the candy. So now you get rid of the cracker, which leaves the dime and the candy. Now say, I need uh, you to choose one, and they choose the dime. You say, great, we'll just get rid of that. So you grab that, you put that away, and that leaves us, what? The candy, because that was a choice, right? They made a choice to give you the, the actual dime, which leaves the candy. So therefore, you're matching again. So those are the three options. All right, just as a review, there's three ways this can go, all right? So you want them to choose the candy, because that's what I have in my hand. So the three ways is either they choose, when you ask them, point to two items, they point to the cracker and the dime. That's easy, because it leaves the candy. So you say, well, let's get rid of the cracker and the dime. So now you match. The other option is they point to the dime and the candy. You go, well, this gets rid of the cracker. Now what you do, because you're down to two, you say pick one up. Now if they pick up the candy, you're home free because it matches, and you get rid of the dime. If they pick up the dime, you say, well, hand me the dime, we'll get rid of that, which now leaves the candy, all right? And the other option works the same way if uh, they pick the cracker and the candy. If they just do that, then you, of course, you get rid of the dime. You say pick one up. If they pick the cracker up, you get rid of it. If they pick the candy up, you keep it. It's that simple. The best thing I can say is review these, go back, and if there's something you don't understand, it's all in the footage, just go back, check it out, you'll learn how to stop. Thanks so much and good luck with your date.